Hey, greetings! A Fujifilm! Um, I, I don't mean this jokingly. I know everybody thinks I'm a Fujifilm fanboy, and I am a Fujifilm fanboy. Um, I've never had so much positive feedback over the new, and I've been talking about it now for two or three weeks, uh, such positive feedback over the new GFX 100S, the $6,000 102 megapixel BSI camera that's going to be announced in two, two, two days on uh, January 27th. Should be available either at the end of February or sometime in March. Really, really, really positive. Uh, tons and tons of people say they're going to get the camera, even though it is a $6,000 camera. I have not heard or seen of all the 6,400 plus videos I've made over the past many years, more excitement over a camera that I've mentioned than maybe the X-T2 or the Nikon D850. It is really, really high. Now, even though it's uh, $4,000 less than the GFX100, uh, the feedback, I've actually been startled. I thought, well, even though it's really inexpensive, you know, comparatively in the the spectrum of uh, medium format cameras, I thought, I didn't think that the feedback would be so incredibly high so far as number of people that have commented over the past few weeks, especially the past 24 hours, like, I'm getting this camera. Shut up, I'm getting this camera. So I find that uh, surprising and good news for Fujifilm. Um, um, people ask the question over the years, you know, why doesn't Fujifilm make a full frame sensor camera and this really if you haven't got the answer yet over the past three gfx cameras of which i've owned all of them i only brought one camera to florida by the way i brought my gfx 100 and two lenses okay same sensor same image processing engine by the way the new gfx 100s is going to use the same battery as the xt4 that new larger battery so it's not going to use the current uh, gfx 125 battery um, that the past three GFX cameras uh, use and continue to use, but it's going to use the X-T4 battery, that new battery introduced with the X-T4. Um, should be, video should be called hashtag what is a full frame sensor camera? Uh, people say, why doesn't Fujifilm make a full frame sensor camera? Well, they, the margins are too slim, especially in today's camera market, and why would they want to get on a bloody battlefield with Nikon, Canon, and Sony? Why would they want to do it? I mean, sit up on the cliff overlooking the fools, you know, uh, fighting each other with full-frame sensor cameras and just have a uh, medium-format camera. Not only that, the cheapest medium-format cameras of anybody ever. World's first company to make a fast focusing medium format camera, world's first company to make an economical, inexpensive, well-built medium format sensor camera. Um, I was also too surprised that the ergonomics in the new GFX 100S are actually going to be uh, slightly smaller than that of the uh, my favorite camera of all time, period, period, film or digital, the GFX uh, 50R. So Fujifilm really has pulled off a checkmate. Uh, I've been telling you this now for at least two years, that when film basically died, essentially died, the only thing when digital overtook film big time, the only thing in film that was still going hardcore, and still kind of is, but not really, was a medium format. And uh, the same is true now where one type of digital has basically overthrown much of digital to a large degree. Everybody's got a freaking iPhone or an Android camera. And, uh, you know, that's uh, killed off uh, the point-and-shoot camera. Who the hell wants a point-and-shoot camera? You got an iPhone? Whatever. More than good enough. You know it and I know it. It's killed off the dinky cameras, a lot of the, you know, Nikon D5600 cameras, D3500. Who the hell buys those cameras? Nobody does because they've all got an iPhone and an Android. So... We were faced with the exact same situation where uh, the only thing that is going hot and heavy is uh, the larger format stuff for professional uh, working photographers, corporate, business, product, photography, weddings, so on and so forth. So Fujifilm really made the right choice. And uh, I really am shocked that I've seen such incredible, literally, no exaggeration, incredible feedback that I've gotten over the past two and a half plus weeks I've been talking about this new camera. Um, yeah, it's going to have the same battery as the X-T4, non-removable EVF, 14-bit, uh, two SD card slots, no vertical grip, non-removable EVF. What are the differences between this and the current GFX100, which is like 12 feet away over there in my room? Uh, no vertical grip, no uh, tilt-shift uh, swingable uh, EVF. Um, 
anything else uh, major is basically going to have the same uh, articulating display as that of the uh, X-T3, not a selfie screen. This is a medium format camera, okay? This is not meant to be a primary video camera. Um, ergonomics of uh, the XS10, exactly like I told you. So those are the major differences. $4,000 less, do you really give a darn about the vertical grip? Um, the EVF tilt feature is incredibly nice, but I mean, it's a $4,000 trade. A lot of people, no exaggeration, a ton, a ton of people have told me they're going to get the new uh, GFX uh, 100S. And I understand why. I didn't think the response would be so great. I've, uh, you know, written a lot in my free Fujifilm book and made tons and tips and tricks videos in the GFX 100. I'm sure Fujifilm over in Japan are like slapping their foreheads over, you know, the fat tattooed monkey, you know, being the number one source of information on the GFX cameras. But... And also, too, the number one salesman, you know, not that I get any money from it, I don't, I don't get a damn dime, the number one salesman on GFX cameras. But I've always loved medium format, always. Uh, photography school, growing up, I mean, I think my first camera was a uh, twin lens reflex Yashica 124 Mat G, um, huge medium format fan, always have been, always will be. So, hashtag, what the hell is the FX camera? Um, Fujifilm made the right choice in the shrinking camera market where everything is going um, to uh, Android and smartphone for lazy, you know, do-it-all photography. Uh, the only thing that can succeed are the high-quality DX, truly succeed into the foreseeable future, and uh, that a medium format. Uh, also, too, this would be a perfect future-proof camera. All throughout both digital and film, okay? And it was still the same in film, you know, when they come out with a new full frame camera every 10, 12 months, and like, ah, oh, I gotta get the latest. Medium format is future proof. Nothing is future proof in electronics. I'm speaking in a roundabout fa fashion here. So, this will be an incredible future proof camera. I mean, let's think about it here. If you buy the GFX 100S, a 102 megapixel backside illuminated sensor camera with IBIS Mac. Really, can you really see anything five plus years down the road? It's like, you know, this is so much better than my 102 megapixel medium. For now, <laughs> I mean, that thing will spit out TIFF files um, that are so huge. It's the same sensor and image processing engine as my GFX 100. So I know what the hell the output of the camera is going to be because it's no different than my GFX 1. They're huge. They're enormous if you want them to be. They don't have to be that huge but they're just jaw dropping. It's just crotch melting perfection. It will just beat you in the face. It's so awesome. Um, can you really see anything? You know, people are already printing the stuff with high resolution detail, the size of the wall um, and medium format, if megapixel per megapixel is always more stunning. Nobody could say that it's not than a full frame sensor camera with nearly the same megapixels. It's just not true if you think it is a pixel peep. The medium format's different. It requires less enlargement. You have a different field of view from the same distance. So yes, there technically is an empirical medium format look and it is incredibly pleasing. It is incredibly light, nice and it doesn't require as much enlargement. But that is a true future-proof camera. I know I'm sounding like a salesman, but uh, the feedback that I've gotten about the new GFX 100S has been incredibly high and incredibly positive. I'm not just saying that. I'm serious as a heart attack when I tell you. I had a lot of people, that is the camera I'm getting. A lot of people told me that. And I didn't think it would be. It's like, yes, it's a lot cheaper, 6,000 bucks. And I didn't think that the response would be so high, but it has been, if I'm lying, I'm dying. It has been, really high. By the way, if Fujifilm is watching this video, let me tell you, Fujifilm, the emails and response I've gotten on YouTube and uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook over the new GFX 100 is incredibly high. You are going to sell the hell. You're going to sell the hell out of that camera. <laughs> eh, it's too bad. I don't see a dime of it, but <laughs> whatever. I'm a huge fan of medium format. This has been another uh, lazy Boy Chronicle brought to you uh, by the Tattooed Monkey sitting in his Lazy Boy recliner while he's on vacation in Florida. Have a good one.